Hi everybody, Hatler for Cape Town. Welcome to another video. First, my apologies for the long break, but let's kick off with the good news. The good news is I've got 100 videos lined up for 2021. Yes, guys, I've been working very hard behind the screens to get all the concepts and scripts together, and I'm ready to start pushing them out. I'm gonna try, try, two a week, so watch out for them. I'm gonna number them. So there's gonna be a number in the top left corner of the video. Watch for that number, because if you wanna watch all 100 videos, this is where you need to track yourself. All these videos is gonna be about mission critical training concepts for your transformation journey. Some of the concepts you will be familiar with, but there's gonna be a lot that you were completely unaware of. So educate yourself. Next, I want to wish all my followers a fantastic 2021. Yeah, I know it's a bit late now. Sorry for that. So I had to cover it the past three weeks and I was quite sick. Three weeks of suffering, high fever, extreme body aches, bad headache, lost all my taste and smell and just feeling really, really bad. But I was one of the lucky ones. Apparently there's a study out, not apparently, I, I, I verified it, where they studied a lot of people that did not go to hospital, a lot of people that did go to hospital, and they were studying the symptoms of these people. Those people with a symptom where they lost taste and smell, just about none of them ended up in hospital, which is very interesting. Because it seems that those people, they contracted the virus more in the upper regions where the people that hit the hospital that didn't lose their taste and smell contracted the virus more to the lower regions, the lungs and things like that. So count yourself lucky if you lose your taste and smell, which uh, is also great for cutting. Now everything tastes bland. You've got no urge to eat something nice. Plus for nearly a month now, I've dropped my alcohol completely because it tastes vile and it smells vile. And it doesn't matter if it's red wine or whiskey or whatever, a beer, anything that contains alcohol, it smells crazy vile. In fact, I think this is something that needs to be studied because this could be the solution for people that struggle alcohol consumption. I've been taking diligently for the past, I won't say a year now, my vitamin C, a thousand milligrams, slow release, my zinc and my vitamin D3, 5,000 IU per day so I think that is the key thing that helped me to not get the COVID-19 so serious. Everybody that I know that didn't take this combination, well not every one of them but most of them actually ended up in hospital. So take care guys. Okay but how safe am I now because I had COVID, uh, am I gonna get it again? It looks like science is showing us that your risk or my risk now is very very low for the next six to nine months. So for the next six to nine months, I basically got a breather. Okay, so that was my excuse for being so quiet. Sorry for that. Now guys, something that is really, really close to my heart and I'm telling you, me and wife emotionally is really suffering with this. It's the 55 Families Project where we try to save the jobs for 55 people and their families. And uh, this is crucial. The second wave of Corona hit South Africa and lockdown has been extended drastically, alcohol sales banned and everything and so on. So it's going rough. We basically at the point where we need to consider closing the doors on this project. Uh, so my urge to you people, those that can afford, please support this project. I'm going to put the link for you up on the screen. I know it's difficult times. Everybody is suffering, but those of you that can squeeze out a little bit, please, please send your money to help these people. Okay, positive about 2021. Yes, I am. Why? Because real time, guys, it's probably going to be a year that probably sucks even more than 2020. But we cannot control the governments, we can't control the COVID-19, we can't control the big tech, the lockdowns and all these things. But we can absolutely control our mind, our positivity and the direction that we want our life to go in. We could end 2021 with a positive mindset, great looking body and a better character and integrity. We don't need the riches of the world to be able to work out. 
I'm working out in my backyard now. We don't need the riches of the world to diet. All you need to do is count your calories and manage your diet. Uh, another guy has signed up to my coaching now. This could be our year, people. Are you going to grab it? So no negativity anymore, guys. Let's go get 2021. Okay, this is a do talk video. So what about politics? Man, I got lots to say, but I'm going to zip it. Politics sucks and politics divide. We are the good or we bad. And it's as simple as that. So long as Twitter don't block us. The worldscape is changing people and I think it's going to change even more in 2021. I'm going to miss the entertainment Mr. Donald Trump provided. I'm especially going to miss to see how people freak out about you. So Mr. D, sorry to see you go. I liked you. Wish you all the best. So African politics, well, okay. Before politics, we had good rain. So it looks like the draw that we had here in Cape Town is now completely broken. The dance is actually full. But racism, oh my word, it's rife like never before in South Africa. Uh, just last week, our president had a television broadcast where he laid out the plans for 2021 to get the people some economic help and get everybody going in South Africa again. And his words, believe it or not, was, was we will help the black people of South Africa in 2021. No whites, no coloreds, no Indians. We simply don't matter. No help from the government for any of us, purely based on our skin color. So the same old story here. All the government departments in South Africa, I'm, I'm not joking here guys, everything, the waterworks, the telecommunications, the, this is the African National Broadcasting, the uh, power utility, every and each of them are bankrupt, completely <laughs> bankrupt. It's, it's complete mismanagement and they're stealing all the money. So I don't know what the hell is gonna happen here. They're even trying to get their hands now on pension funds, even the private pension funds to try and get money because the money is drying up. Uh, one guy went around at one of the ANC conferences okay, and uh, all the cars parked in the parking area there. It was just Maseratis, Ferraris, there was a couple of Bentleys, a lot of BMW, BMW X5, the M division. It is actually quite scary. Oh, no, did I mention it's no politics? Hell, that lasted long. Okay, the COVID-19 vaccine. Am I going to take the vaccine? You know, guys, generally I'm not a conspiracy theory person. I don't bite into these things. But we have to open our eyes and we can't just believe what the government and all the government agencies tells us. We need to look sometimes a little bit deeper and there's just too many things that doesn't make complete sense around Bill Gates and this whole thing, COVID-19, the vaccine, the rollouts and the way the government is abusing COVID-19 to reach their goals and their targets or whatever that is. So I for one, I probably will eventually take the vaccine but I for one is gonna hold out as long as I can to see you know a bit more and find out a bit more. I want to really know what is in this vaccine and I want to it to be declassified and released. It mustn't be patented anymore. That'll give me a little bit more trust. So so let me wait a bit and see if the zombies is coming. Okay and now something that plainly upsets me. Now since my high school days I've been thinking myself as this computer nerd, red-blooded computer nerd, that love sci-fi, especially Star Trek. I mean, Captain Kirk set everything in stone with all this beautiful girls, short dresses. Stunning, stunning, I loved it. Now, from there onwards, Star Trek was set in stone for sexy girls. Star Trek Voyager raised the game a bit with Seven of Nine. Oh boy, I couldn't wait for the next episode. And I'm telling you, many a red hot blooded nerd schoolboy or bigger than schoolboys was lying restlessly in their bed at night thinking about what Seven of Nine is going to do in the next episode. And then of course the Vulcan lady in Star Trek Enterprise, stunning to Paul. All of these beautiful voluptuous women. That is what Star Trek is about. It's a holy matter for us sci-fi loving nerds. Now comes Star Trek Discovery and you know what happens? Guys smooching from one episode to the other. Now believe me I've got nothing against guys smooching. If they want to smooch go for it. But not on Star Trek. Stick to Shit's Creek. 
Star Trek is for red hot blooded nerds that's waiting for the next beautiful woman to appear on the screen. I'm telling you my erotic Star Trek dreams has been permanently damaged. If these guys had some muscles at least then I would have something to appreciate. But they're not attractive even. Well, maybe they are, I just don't see it. There's not even one sexy girl in Star Trek Discovery. I mean, maybe Emperor Georgia Philippa. She did a little thing for me. Now, that's all fine. Now comes season three in Star Trek Discovery. And this one girl, the guy was referring to her as a her. And she was very quick to zap back at him that she doesn't associate with her. She associates only with them or they. Now, that cracked it for me. I mean, what the hell are they trying to push here? It's like this liberal agenda that's been pushed down everybody's throat in America. Now they're pushing it down our sci-fi loving nerds' throats. So I'm sorry, Star Trek Discovery, you're not doing it for me. Okay, I don't want to make this too long. This is just to say hello guys, have a great 2021, and I want to tell you about all this hundred videos coming in 2021. Watch out for them. So I'm just going to remind you also quickly about my coaching. Those of you that want to sign up to my coaching for the older guy, very extensive, very advanced. Have a look at the screen, that is where you can sign up. And that is it, everybody. Happy training. Hatler from Cape Town, signing off. Cheers. Thank you.